Okay. So let's move on to the next article. So the next story we have is fascinating because Steve Knight is one of those guys that he's done work before and now he's starting to even get more work. And according to Variety, and these are all going to come from Variety today. So um, Steve Knight, who is pictured over there on the far right, okay, that there is Steve Knight, okay, is going to be penning the new Star Wars movie, okay? And it says here that Peaky Blinders creator Steve Knight is set to create a screenplay for the untitled Star Wars movie that Shamin Oban Khan, excuse me if I butchered his name, is attached to direct as original screenwriters Damian Lindoff and Justin Britt Gibson have departed from. The movie is widely expected to be Lucasfilm's first Star Wars film since The Rise of Skywalker, the 2019's The Rise of Skywalker. More information about the film is about a, a movie uh, including a possible title is expected at the Star Wars celebration in London uh, in April. So Knight is a veteran screenwriter who launched his career specializing in gritty crime do- dramas, including the 2002's Dirty Pretty Things and the 2007 movie Eastern Promises, eventually branching out to light hearted dramedies, including the uh, 100-foot journey and thrillers 2006 Allied. And he's done biopics, of course, uh, Kristen, uh, Kristen Stewart's Spencer. He's also created and executive produced the BBC period drama Peaky Blinders, which is on Netflix in the United States. Lindoff is best known for the co-creation of the television series Lost, The Leftovers, and Watchmen, brought on by Britt uh, Brit Gibson to write a Star Wars movie together. After turning in a draft early this year, the duo parted the project in February, becoming the latest creatives to part ways with Lucasfilms after signing and developing one or multiple new Star Wars films projects to greater fanfare. Early in the month, Variety reported that three separate movies, one shepherded by director Patty Jenkins, and that was supposed to be um, Rogue Squadron. The other produced and other Marvel chief Kevin Feige, had been shelved by Lucasfilms and were no longer in active development. Director DJ Dillard, who just did uh, the Jonathan Majors film Devotion, told The Wrap in November that, of 2022 that he was no longer developing a Star Wars project as a studio. And it goes on to talk about the different um, writers that were there. Look, here's the thing, okay? No, you, you, no, you're, you're right. Road Squadron did get canceled. So, Road Squadron got canceled. Um, I don't know why. I think that would have been a. F- I remember the. Um, I remember the, uh, the the little trailer, thirty second trailer she did to uh, skate down the runway. That was fantastic, and have a life size uh, uh, X wing there. That was fantastic. I wish she had done it. I you know I don't know why they canceled it. Anyways. Um, so that being said, now we have a new writer. And so a couple questions have to be asked. Okay. Number one is what is this going to be? Okay. What what is this Star Wars project going to be? Number two, I I I mean, I guess, okay, let me let me put it like this. I'm tired of Star Wars. <laughs> I'm tired of Star Wars to the extent of the fact is that we have had so much, and I call it oversaturation, okay? The the fact is that we've had so many, um, so many different uh, Star Wars series come out, whether it's The Mandalorian, which, by the way, I will be doing a spoiler cast later on this week for, whether it's Andor, whether it's Obi-Wan Kenobi, whether it's, you know, everything else that, and I know I'm missing a couple. And then you have the Star Wars movies. And I, I just, I wish it would wait. I mean, look, they're going to be huge. 
I mean, if you if you look at the, the distance, the time distance between when you had Return of the Jedi in 1983 and then um, I'm blanking on it. Oh, Phantom Menace. Okay. That was 16 years. 16 years. Okay. And then you had 05. Okay. And then you had 2015. And the thing is that it was 10 years. There has been so much content out there that I think people aren't going to respond. I'm not sure if a new trilogy or possible Jedi Fallen or Italian. Yeah, I, I, I could see that. I mean, here, here's the problem, though. Okay? So even if they announce something at Star Wars Celebration in April, you're talking about maybe, and I'm saying maybe, 2027 before you see anything on screen. That's a fact. Because they have to develop it, they have to write the script, they have to film it, and then they've got to do post. You're talking about four years. So maybe they put some sort of uh, tie-in. I don't know. I can't see that. Um but it's one of those things where I'm tired of Star Wars. I really am. I, I don't get me wrong. I love the franchise. I love the franchise. I can't wait to watch Mandalorian later tonight. But at the same time, when you have too much of a good thing, it can be detrimental. And I think that that's the problem with too much of a good thing, right? It's like Marvel. Marvel, when you have all these films come out, you know, it's an oversaturation and you just don't want to, you, you don't want to watch anything that's bad. And Rise of Skywalker, that was, even though it made a billion dollars, was a bad movie. <laughs> Let's call it what it was. I saw it twice in theaters. Once to see if it was, you know, and then the second just to see if it was as bad as everybody said it was. And like, anyways, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that, you know, there's too much Star Wars content out there now. Are you excited for the possibility of a new trilogy? Would you like to see a different story? Would you? What story would you like to see? Who would be the villain? Let me know down in the comments and answer all those questions down there, and I'll get back to everybody.